Well, Lancashire Charities' efforts to send aid to Ukraine have won them heartfelt thanks and plaudits from both civilians and the military of the war-torn country. Chorley and district support for Ukraine continues a tradition in the town of helping those affected by conflict. Tim Scott reports. Now in a new location in the town centre, the old White Hart pub, Chorley and district support for Ukraine haven't let up on their efforts to send crucial aid packages to where they're needed most. For the last two and a half years, we've been packing goods at a location in Chorley town centre. And now, thanks to Chorley Council, we've moved into premises right next door to Chorley Town Hall so we can carry on the work that we're doing and hopefully make a difference in Ukraine. Since the Russian incursion in 2022, the charity have sent over 700 pallets worth of clothes and food, hundreds of thousands of pounds worth of medical supplies, as well as six medevac vehicles to help the injured on the front line. In this corner of the building, we've got some mementos and thank yous from people in Ukraine for all the hard work that's being done here. We've got certificates, we've got battlefield items, and we've even got some signed military banners from the units out there. It's all a sign that the donations from Chorley are really making a difference. Chorley and districts from the time of the First World War and the Second World War has always helped refugees uh, from the Dutch, the French, the Polish, and of course, you know, we're in the modern age and we're helping again. All the people who work here are volunteers, including Ukrainians, of course. Ludmilla McIntyre was working as a teacher in the UK when the Russian incursion began. This kind of work that people in the UK are doing, how important is it for people in Ukraine? If you think about it, who would need slippers? But people sometimes end up with no house at all sometimes they wake up and whatever they had on themselves this is how they escape so even little bits like slippers socks some t-shirts some coats it's all needed while the donations here are gratefully received there's always room for more and the charity welcomes any help it can get so those in ukraine can survive as best they can under the most awful of circumstances Tim Scott, ITV News, Chorley. Yeah, important work making a big, big difference in awful circumstances too.